Well, Christina, it's our honor to have Dr. Paul Brown, and, and he's he, he, he's someone the Concerned Commanders Radio Show uh, recognized right away. But welcome to the Command Radio Show and, and this NFRA Presidential Preference Convention 2019 here in Atlanta. That's right. Welcome to Atlanta and welcome to Georgia. Spend lots of money while y'all are here. Okay. I appreciate <laughs> it. We well, need the help in our economy. The, well, the economy's doing, doing great. Praise be to Donald Trump and the, yes. and the policy that he's put forward. You know, I'll tell you what, J.D., I am absolutely disgusted with Republicans. Where are they supporting Donald Trump? They are uh, in nowhere to be found. They're yeah, AWOL. I'm a yeah, Marine, and yeah. they are AWOL. Yeah. We need people who are going to go to the floor of the U.S. House, and more so even in the U.S. Senate, and say, we need to support our president because he's done the greatest job oh. of putting this country back on the course that our founding fathers put us on initially. It's absolutely critical for us to have people in the U.S. House and U.S. Senate that yeah. support Donald Trump. I agree. And, and I got an idea. Support the Constitution. Well, that's right. How about that? that yeah. Is, is that and, simple? You know, even Nancy Pelosi and even Barack Obama say that they are constitutional. Right now today, right now today, there's only wow. one member of the U.S. Supreme Court. The U.S. Supreme Court, one member that could give a flip about the U.S. Constitution is our very great Supreme Court Justice from Georgia, Clarence Thomas. Yes. And he's the only one who really wow. is constitutional. The others are trying to conserve the power of the court. And that's not constitutional. They're trying to continue where the court is the strongest body or, or branch of the federal government. Wow. Christina, it should be the weakest. Yeah, I agree. And they are ruling on things that they have absolutely no constitutional authority to rule on. Wow. For instance, they have no constitutional authority to rule on marriage. They have no constitutional yeah, authority amen. to rule on abortion. Yep. They have no constitutional yep. authority to create some new right, yep. the right of privacy, yes. that yes. gives women the right to kill their unborn I child. Agree. I know. And, it's, and it's got to change. It does. And so it does. Uh, that's what the NRFRA and all the state Republican assemblies should be all about, is trying to get true constitutionalists True conservatives elected the government, both on the state level as yeah. well as the federal level. It'd be great. Well, that's Reagan's federalism. That's enumerated powers yes. properly designated. That's but right. We're not. Well, we're not. In fact, I carry a copy in my pocket all the time. All right. I've got one in my trouser pocket too. But under this Constitution, mm. Article One, Sentence One, uh, Article One, Section One, Sentence One says all legislative authority is vested in the Congress. Not in a president through executive order. Right. Not in the That's court. Right. right. I'll tell you what, I'm disgusted with these black robed tyrants. Yes. Yep. Who are creating law and making rulings that are totally unconstitutional. They have no authority to do it. I hope that the president will just ignore those, just like James Madison ignored the Supreme Court in Marbury versus Madison. That's right. This president needs to just ignore these rulings by these black robed tyrants all over the country that we see that are trying to stop this president from making America great again. Well, what do you so think about it? He's ignoring Nancy Pelosi and her unconstitutional inquiry. Right. Uh, right. I mean, that's well, a start. Well, I just spoke here at the National Republican Assembly, National Federation of Republican Assemblies right. meeting, and my message was we've got to, we, we absolutely have to elect people, not on personality, but on principle. We've right. got, and we've got to give them the tools, the financial tools, as well as the people tools to go out and get true conservatives elected. That's and true. it's up to the American people to do that. Yeah. So until we get an army of people That's right. that are going to elect people, Christina, on on constitutional principles right. as our founding Absolutely. fathers meant it. That's right. Then we're going to continue to have these kind of problems. That's Republicans right. Republicans are just as guilty as the Democrats of creating this government that's just totally out of control. It, Republicans are guilty of spending money that they don't have and yep. creating this yes. unsustainable debt, J.D., that, yep. that yep. is going to cause a financial collapse of this nation, and it's up to us. We're at a critical juncture in this Country yes. If we don't make some major changes, and this election that's coming up 
next year in two thousand and twenty is going to be absolutely critical we have to get rock obama type of yeah. Uh, yes. Republicans yes. out of uh, office. Uh, right. We've got to elect this president, which is the greatest president we've had in my lifetime. Yes. Yeah. Who really yeah. wants to make America great again? Right. Make America the the beacon on the hill yes. right. to shine liberty all across the world yes. and give an example of what a nation should be under those ideas that. Man's rights come from God Himself. Yes, right. from our Creator. Yes. As Thomas Jefferson said in the preamble of the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths self-evident that all men are created equal. Yes. Right. They should be treated equal under the law as well. All men are created equal and endowed by their Creator. Yes, our Creator, right. the Creator of the heaven and the earth. Right. Right. We are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights that can't be taken away That's because right. God gives those rights to us. He does. And amongst these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes. Well, it's and it's up to the American people to is. demand that kind of governance, and Republicans yes, are it destroying is. it just like are the Democrats. Right. We, I thank God for the people in the Freedom Caucus because only a yes. handful of Republicans in the House, and there's no real organization on the Senate side like the Freedom Caucus in the House, but those few people yep. are at least helping to keep this country from becoming totally government controlled, socialist, yes, communist, right. progressive, right. all those are synonymous, but Republicans are just as much progressive, socialist, communist, Marxist as a lot of them are just as much as Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff and Elijah Cummings right. and Elliot Engel and all those folks that yes. are trying to destroy this president. Yeah, well, don't you think also so many people have been focused on identity politics instead of policy and the real issues that really are at hand? Christine, you're absolutely correct. Yeah. But again, it, it uh, we need to not focus on identity politics. We need to be I Americans. I agree. I agree. We need to be Americans. I don't like these hyphenated words. I do not or either. These, uh, blank Americans. No matter what it is, we need to all be Americans. Right. And we need to all stand for liberty and freedom. That's right. Li Our founding fathers talked about liberty more than anything else, Christina. They, they didn't did. talk about they freedom. They did. They did. Absolute freedom is actually anarchy. Ah. Uh, liberty, though, is where. My freedom stops where yours starts. Uh, but you and I can come together and work in concert. Yes. JD, right. we can work together yeah. as Americans, yes. as freedom loving Americans, yes. and work in concert for a greater good for our whole society. Mm -hmm. But you don't hear the politicians in Washington talking about that. They don't talk about liberty. They talk about we're a democracy. Yeah. Yes, which we're yes. not a democracy. That's right. We're a representative Republic. government, That's we're right. a democratic republic. And we have people voting for people to serve them as their representatives in the yes, U.S. House, U.S. Yes, Senate, yes. as well as their state legislatures, as well as in their governors, yes. on personality, yes. what someone's gender is, exactly. or what somebody, right. back to this identity politics, yes, Christina, yes, yes. what their skin color is, right. or what their family heritage is, and all that sort of stuff. Sure. We need to come together as Americans. Yes, yes. we do. And we need to to fight for liberty and freedom. And the problem is that I see in Hosea 4, 6, God says, my people are destroyed for lack yes. of knowledge. That's right. And what I see is that people are just not knowledgeable about what government is supposed to be yeah. That's right. under the Constitution That's right. and the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. You cannot separate those things. No. They are together as one document, basically philosophy. Actually, it's two documents, obviously, but they kind of one document yeah. because the Declaration of Independence described how the king, the monarch, the tyrant, was taking away the God-given rights yes. of the colonists. Yes, yes. And then the Constitution was a governmental functional view mm -hmm. of how those rights should be preserved by government. Mm -hmm. It was a contract with the states. Actually, the states should be more powerful politically than the federal government. Yes. Absolutely. And we've got to restore that idea, J.D., mm -hmm. to the 
people in washington d c and the only way we can do that is for people to become knowledgeable about what government should be under the constitution what our founding fathers meant for government to be yeah that's true the constitution is not a living and breathing document christina yes it is a solid foundation yeah upon which to build all of our society that's right the federal government is supposed to be very limited it's supposed to be constrained by those powers given to it under the constitution the yeah. 10th yes. ninth and 10th amendment basically puts an exclamation point upon that. The tenth says, if a power is not specifically given yes. to yes. the federal government, yes. the 18 enumerated powers That's for, right. That's for, right. the, for the Congress, the five powers given to the Supreme Court yep. and all the federal judiciary, et cetera, and the presidency is supposed to just be the administrator, yeah. the executive preside. To, he's just supposed to preside and not create yeah. law yeah. himself. Yeah. Uh, but we've got to go back to that philosophy or we're yes. going to lose yes. what our founding fathers gave us. And it's Amen. up to the American people. So I encourage people to read the Constitution. Yes. Read it, but read what our founding fathers said about it. That's I recommend right. a resource to people. I've said this on conservative commandos many times with Rick. Um, and that resource is called the Federalist Papers in Modern Language. It's oh, edited wow. by yeah. Mary E. Webster. Okay. It doesn't yes. editorialize. It doesn't make any commentary. It just changes the it's old good. style English, mm -hmm. which is very difficult to read, right. J.D., if you've ever right. tried to read the Federalist Papers. Mm -hmm. It just changes it from old style English into modern language. Okay. It just changes how the words are, yeah. are yes. put together. And then it is indexed to the Constitution itself, Christina, so that people can go and look and see that, for instance, the Commerce Clause is actually a state limitation. Okay. It was never, ever, ever meant for the federal government to control commerce as right. it's doing today. They wanted right. a free flow of commerce yes. amongst the states as well as foreign commerce. That's right. That was their intent. Right. We've got to return to those principles or we're going to lose our liberty and freedom. That's true. Paul, we're coming against a hard commercial break, as usual, with the Concerned Commander <laughs> Radio Show. Always. Uh, what does God have in store for you? How would you close us with? Because we'll, we'll yes. put it in prayer. I, I, I know Washington needs you again. And, well, J.D., uh, I have a, we're fixing to have our governor here in Georgia appoint a U.S. senator to replace my friend, Johnny Isaacson, who's leaving. I'm praying that Johnny Isaacson, actually I'm praying that God supernaturally heals him of his Parkinson's disease and that he can function. Right. Uh, and Johnny's a friend of mine, but he's leaving at the end of this year, yes. and the governor's going to appoint someone, as the Constitution calls for, uh, the governor to appoint someone. And I've applied for yes. the governor to appoint me to the U.S. Senate. Yes. Yes. And I told the governor yes. several months ago in a meeting that he and I had together yeah. that there is no one that he can appoint in the, in the whole state of Georgia that has a record that I have right. that will fight for the state to return those powers back yes. to the states oh. or to the people yes. as I have done. Right. He has been talking as an example about we've got to get rid of Common Core. When I agree with no. that, but the, only oh, way, yes. the only way we're going to get rid of Common Core oh, yes. is get rid of the Department of Education. And I wrote the bill when I was in Congress. That's right. Wow. When yes. I was in Congress, I wrote the only Republican bill that has been introduced that truly repeals and replaces Obamacare and puts patients and doctors. I'm a doctor and sure. medical yes. doctor. It puts patients and doctors in charge of their own health care decisions. And my bill, the Option Act, will make health care cheaper for everybody, okay. provide access to good quality health care yes. for all Americans, and it's going to save Medicare from going broke, at least right. uh, yes. is a mechanism to head that way. So, right. uh oh, I talk too much. <laughs> but I get all wrapped up. And, no, no. But, and, you know, I just feel so strongly look, about this. So no, this is <laughs> Thank y'all so much. This, no, this is great. We, we are taking a little extra time because we have a very special guest. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. Here in his home state of Georgia. Yes. And, and, on the day Christopher Columbus founded the New World, right, 1492, I, to spread the gospel of Christ. That's right. That was the point. That's, That's right. right. Christopher Columbus, he was trying to spread the gospel of Christ. That was his appointment. Uh, yes, it, yeah, was. It, wasn't, it was. It was. It wasn't to lord over anybody. Nope. Uh, no. No. But we want to thank you so much, Paul. It's <laughs> thank been you, our JD. privilege. God bless you. Bless God you bless too. you. Thanks so Thanks, much. Thanks, Christina. Uh, yes. Good to see y'all guys.